Welcome to Personal Finance 101. Today we're going to talk about how to set goals and how to achieve them. The first step to set goals is very important, but in order for you to achieve them, there are different techniques for you to follow in order for you to realize them. We're going to go step by step. We're going to show you different techniques that will allow you to achieve your goals, to be successful in your goals, and for you to celebrate after you reach your goals. My name is Franz. I'm a real estate broker. I have a master in business administration, and I'm here to share my knowledge, my experience with you, my audience. If this is your first time listening to us, please subscribe down below and also always give us a thumbs up. So basically, we're going to go over seven steps. We separate the steps in seven different categories in order for you to schedule the goals, think about the goals, plan the goals, realize the goals, and celebrate the goals. Before we talk about all the seven steps, the first thing is we need to define the goal. What is a goal? A goal is an idea of the future or desired result that a person or a group of people envision, plan, and commit to achieve. People endeavor to reach goals within a finite time by setting deadlines. The first one is set goals that motivates you or be specific when you're setting up your goals. Why do you want a goal that motivates you? Well, if you plan a goal and that goal have no interest to you, you're not going to be excited. You're not going to be willing to do it. Something that you would like to do for yourself. You can listen to other people. You can follow different other people's steps, but the pick, the choice of the goal has to be something personal to you, something designed for you, and something that motivates you. If somebody decides they want to lose weight, or you don't want to lose weight, guess what? You will never achieve that goal because you're not motivated by it. You don't want to do it. You have to choose a goal that it's achievable, attainable, that you can accomplish. That's why it's better for you to choose a goal that will motivate you to start with. The goal has to be specific. You're not going to say, I want to lose weight. You got to say, I want to lose 10 pounds in five days. I want to lose two pounds in two days. I want to lose 20 pounds in 20 days. I want to lose 50 pounds in three months. Specific with numbers, detail, and goal setting. That's how you can measure the goal, which is basically our second step, measurement of the goal. The goal has to be specific, achievable, with detail exactly that's how you can achieve a goal second step there's something we call setting smart goal which is s m a r t s is for specific m is for measurable a is for attainable r is for relevant and the t is for time bound the first one specific the goal you want to achieve should be specific as we mentioned earlier it has to be a goal that has to be clear well defined because a vague and not generalized goal are unhelpful for you because they don't provide you the motivation they don't provide you sufficient direction for you to achieve the goal remember you need goals to show you the way you need goals that make it easy as possible for you to see a clear definition precisely where you want to go and where you want to achieve. The second one is setting measurable goals. What is a measurable goal? Well, you need to be able to accurately track your progress so you can judge if you achieve it or not. Measurable meaning specific date, specific data. For example, if you say to yourself that you want to gain pounds while losing, because some people want to gain pounds, and you want to put exactly when you want to reach it. Same thing, if you want to be independent financially, if you want to be rich, if you want to be a millionaire, why not? Because people are always scared of talking about millions, of talking about money. 
in order for you to reach a million dollars well you got to say yourself okay i can do it in 10 years so i want to reach a million dollars in 10 years to do so you got to do it by reaching a hundred thousand a year for 10 years so there are different techniques it has to be specific with time oriented specific dates smart specific measurable third one is attainable attainable means you got to set up a goal that you can achieve meaning if you're not somebody that's motivated by making money or you said okay you know what i want to lose 100 pounds if you're 300 pounds today and you know you're not going to be able to do it you don't even believe in the goal that you set for yourself there is no way you're going to be able to achieve so you got to set up a goal that's attainable for example you can tell yourself i want to lose 10 pounds in a month so that way when you see you're losing two pounds you're excited you say oh man i lost two pounds so let me keep on pushing because before you can lose 10 pounds, you gotta lose one, you gotta lose two, until you reach 10 pounds. Relevant goals, you gotta set relevant. Relevant is the same thing that we said at the beginning. Those are goals that are set for you. Those are goals that motivate you. Those are goals that are relevant to you. And a goal can be a short-term goal. For example, you can end up today and you say, you know what, today I would like to look for a job. Today, I would like to eat healthier. I mean, goals don't have to be something extraordinary or something that has to take years to accomplish. You can set up a goal for a day. You can wake up today and you say, you know what? Today, I'm going to eat healthy. So in the morning, I'm going to get fruits, get a banana. I'm going to get a shake of fruits. Then midday, I'm going to eat a salad. I'm going to eat more vegetables, more greens. And later on, I can eat light. That's a goal for the day. Any goal that's achievable, attainable, if you want to do in small pieces, you can, and it's relevant for you. The T is time bound. Your goals must have a deadline, meaning you know exactly when you're going to finish. You don't set up a goals and that goal is forever and it keep going and going. You have to have a start date, meaning when you're going to start, when you're going to begin, and you also have an end date, that means when you're going to achieve that goal. That's what they call a time bound. S-M-A-R-T, smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. The third thing is you need to set the goals in writing. I always talk about the power of writing. When you write, you can see. When you write, your brain force your fingers to write it down so that way it's already creating a motion then when you write it either on the paper or on the computer on microsoft word or in a notepad wherever you decide to put it now you can see it, you can visualize it and then you see the goal and you think about it at that time it's getting closer to reality a goal is a goal it's a dream that stay in your mind till you put it on the paper then when you see it you look at it you say ah now I see it. It's more powerful when you write it down. And when you write it down, you gotta put, I will do. Don't put would like, might, you put, I will. Tomorrow, I will eat fruits. This week, I will eat salad every day. This week, I will exercise at 30 minutes a day. This week, I'm gonna ride my bicycle for three times, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This week, I'm going to walk every day, every morning, regardless if it's cool or not. Those are the way you set goals. You write it down, start out and walk for 30 minutes. Every day, I'm going to eat salad for my lunch time. Regardless of what happened, regardless of somebody has come to you and bring another idea, you got to stick to your goals. The next step is you got to make an action plan. The action plan are the different steps that you're going to do in order for you to achieve that goal. For example, I want to eat fruits every day. Every morning as breakfast, I'm going to eat fruits. In order to do that, you got to buy the fruits, you got to prepare it, you got to make sure that you have it. This is the action plan. If you want to lose 20 pounds in 30 days, how are you going to do that? Well, the action plan is, first thing, I got to eat healthier, I got to eat less, I got to exercise, I got to burn calories. To do so, I have to go to the gym five times a week, I have to exercise more. This is what we call an action plan, step by step. 
before you raise a ladder or a stairs that has a hundred step guess what you need to do the first step the second step the third step you need to figure out the first step which is the hardest when you want to set goals the hardest part is to start the goal start with the first step first process is to start if you want to do a goal please start it right now number five you need to tell somebody else what is the power of telling somebody else about your goal the same way writing a goal has a major power telling someone else are also a big power when you do this not only you're going to be ashamed of not doing it because somebody else is your witness but you're also telling the universe about your goal and the universe is something extremely powerful because when you do so the entire world turn and basically help you find things to realize your goals don't believe me do it for yourself and experience it yourself I did it so many times and I know the power of talking to the universe when you tell somebody it's a vocal it's a verbal you telling the universe the person is listening the world is listening and now they help you they shift things around you stuff you never see before you pay attention to it you find other people that bring stuff to you bring your ideas you go i never thought of that and all this package help you achieve your goal and continue in that right direction which is achieving your goal the next step is stick with it stick with it means if you decide that let's say you want to lose 30 pounds in 30 days and once you reach 15 days and you see you haven't lost 10, 5 pounds and you felt like discouraged no you gotta stick to your plan stay with it adjust it if necessary and when necessary motivate yourself push yourself harder you have to evaluate yourself as you go in order for you to reach that goal but don't give up don't change your plan stick to it you can adjust it you can make some correction to it but you have to stick with it the last item is celebration when you achieve your goals you have to celebrate you suffer you sacrifice it was hard you did the road you plan you did stuff that make you uncomfortable you push yourself to do stuff that sometimes you feel like ashamed of it society is telling you otherwise you did everything you have to do and today you reach that goal you need to celebrate you need to say thank you even if it's a small step of a big goal for example you wanted to let's say your your big goal is to to go to the gym every day but you say hey, you know what let me start small by going three times a week well at the end of the week you went the three times be happy celebrate say congratulations to me say i push it i did it it's very important for you to celebrate for you to you know be trustful for you to push yourself in order for you to build your self-confidence and in the future you'll be able to achieve bigger goal you're listening to personal finance 101 my name is Franz I have a master in business administration and I'm also a real estate broker our sponsor is progressive tutoring if you need a tutor a certified teacher that can help your children learn better school is hard with COVID-19 these days every student are at home learning online don't understand much about what the teacher is saying are not motivating to learn call progressive tutoring today and they will be happy to tutor your kids and help you make them get better grades today we covered how to set goals and how to achieve the goals the, the seven steps of how to do it and specifically we spoke about smart which is specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound of achieving a goal my name is friends thank you so much for listening to me see you then